Hello students, let's read the problem. And it says, the area of a rectangle is 12x squared minus 2x minus 30 with a length of 4x plus 6. Which expression represents the width of the rectangle? So we're looking for the what? For the width, right? And it's going to be an expression, which means it's not going to be like a, like a three, four, five, like a number, right? Uh, and they're giving us the area for the rectangle, which is right here. And they're also giving us the length, right? Okay, so what is it that is the first thing I need to write down? Well, when I see the word area, I got to think about a formula, right? So let's write down area equals, of course, length times width okay so we're going to replace some values so that we know what to do okay so if the area is and i'm going to write it down a little bit more to the left so that i have enough space so that would be 12x squared minus 2x minus 30 equal right because that's the area the length is 4x plus 6 and I'm going to multiply by the width, which I don't have. So let's write down W. Is that right? So if I want to leave W by itself, then I will need to divide by 4x plus 6. And whatever you do on one side, do it to the other side. And the 4x plus 6 is going to cancel. And the width will be found when you divide those numbers, right? So you got to divide that area by the length is that right okay very good so we're gonna write down the problem over here on the right side so my dividend which is the number inside it's gonna be 12 x squared minus 2x minus 30 and all of these will be divided by 4x plus 6. okay so the first thing you're going to ask yourself is this. 4x times what will give me 12x squared? Is that right? Because that's the way we divide, right? Okay. So 4 times 3 is 12. So I know my coefficient is 3. And I have 1x and I need x squared. Therefore, that, that 3 needs to have an x. Is that right? So that will be my quotient that's going to be my first number up here right so i'm going to write down 3x okay now remember 12x it's positive therefore the 3x needs to be positive okay so let's multiply and we already have one right we say 3x times 4x and we have it down here already so we don't need to do it again and that will give me what? 12x squared. Okay? Very good. What do I do next? Well, I need to multiply 3x times 6. Is that right? Okay? And I'm going to write it down way on the bottom over here. So we're going to have 6 times 3x. And that gives me 3 times 6 is 18. And there's only 1x. So I'm going to write it down there. Yes? And that will be positive 18x is that right now remember that when i am uh, dividing there's my little line right basically i need to subtract everything that is inside the parentheses so you can do two things you can say just read it like 12 minus 12 right now be careful when there's another negative inside because it does make a difference okay so we can say 12 minus 12 is a zero so it cancels that out now, this is the one that it might get some of us in trouble. This one says negative 2 minus 18. Is that right? So, I'm going to write it down, down here. Negative 2, and I'm not going to write down the x, minus 18. Isn't that what it means? So, that means keep, change, and opposite. So, the 18 actually turns into a negative 18. Yes? And that will give me a negative 20x okay bring down the constant so i'm gonna have minus 30 okay 
Now, notice how that 20x is negative. Then that tells me that my uh, quotient will have a minus up there. Okay? So we're going to do the same thing. 4x times what gives me a negative 20? So I'm going to write it down here on the, on the right. So we have 4x times what gives me a negative 20x? So think about 4 times what gives you a negative 20. Well, it has to be a negative 5. Is that right? And that would be what? My negative 20, right? And I already have an x, so that's not needed. So that's going to give me a minus 5 up here. Okay? So you see what I said earlier, that it was supposed to be a minus, and it turns to be like, yeah, I needed a negative 5. Okay? So I am going to multiply using the distributive property. So I'm going to multiply 4x times negative 5, which I already did, and that gives me a negative 20x. Then I need to multiply that negative 5 times a 6, and that gives me a negative 30. And that would be right here. And I know what you're thinking. That's not going to cancel me. is because they're both negatives. You are forgetting that we need to what? subtract right okay so be very careful with that step guys okay so this means negative 20 minus a negative 20 and this is where i tell my students that basically when you have a negative outside everything inside the parentheses goes to the opposite and that took care of that negative sign outside okay hopefully you guys didn't get confused on that and that actually goes negative 20 plus a 20 cancels right and negative 30 plus a 30 cancels as well. So what's my remainder? Zero. Okay. So I was looking for the width and the width will be 3x minus 5, which is up here. So look at the answer choices. And I do see letter A like that. Right? Very good.